What's going on everybody? This is Fry. So today we are trying the mop package plant deck. Now we've had uh, really a lot of success with this doing it on the zombie side. Uh, so we're going to be, the reason we're calling it mop package, long story short, just means a deck that has way too many environments in it. Uh, I'm not going to quite run seven or eight like we do in the zombies because of this plan so you don't really have last say with environments. We are going to be running six environments so we should have very strong environment domination. I know when I'm on the zombie side and they just have like a bunch of spike weed sectors on the field it makes a really really big problem it clogs lanes it really has problems for a lot of decks i would say that the two environments not only that we're running not only are they cheap they're only two cost um but they also like consistently get damage this will always be protecting something that you know can be hard to answer the minions they put in here and this will um again buff your amphibious minions but also uh, reduce your opponent, the damage they're doing to you, and make you get good trades in that lane. So def definitely very high potential uh, environment. So in order to complement the environments, we're running four copies of Plantern. This is a three-cost, four-four bullseye I've played into an environment. So uh, definitely going to take advantage of that. We're also running the four-cost, three-four bounce of plant if played into an environment. So this is a ton of value. Usually very unreliable because you don't have a lot of environments in your deck. You're usually just running three. Maybe four, but since we're running six, uh, we're going to try running four copies of the Leaf Blower. Worst case scenario, if you're already ahead with your planter in play, you're going to be running the Leaf Blower just as a four cost three four. It's nice just build up minion in the Amphibious Lane, I suppose. I uh, decided to run uh, the Snake Grass just as a little bit more late game. You can combine this with uh, Citron Superpowers on turn five. You can also use it with Photosynthesizer on turn five. This should be just one of these cards that sort of gets you more ahead. They're definitely running a tempo strategy here. Uh, so running the um, Forget-Me-Nuts, as long as you're not afraid of this getting like, you know, Acid Rain, you can really just play this on the ground and then protect it with an environment or protect it with a Photosynthesizer. You can also just follow it up with either Triceratops or your Rotobaga. And again, these cards don't get removed very efficiently when you have the uh, tempo this forget me nuts because all their tricks are going to cost one more. Also, running Lima Pluridon, need an extra one. Uh, it does benefit a little bit from the um, photosynthesizer. Also, benefits from this Bog of Enlightenment. So, you can actually play this sometimes on the ground. And then, if you're planning on playing blo Bog on turn two, like make a really good trade, maybe follow up then with your. Um, with your planter, and so that'll be another way of utilizing the bog. Running Brain Anus as a finisher, it'd be really nice to play this protected on turn five when they try to remove it on turn six, and with the Brain Anus, it should be able to finish off your opponent that way. Hope you guys enjoy. Let's see how this deck does. Let's go. I guess we're running a really anti-trick deck because running forget me now it's running triceratops which is very hard to deal with with tricks running brain out <laughs> so i think this deck is pretty damn good keep one of these this is a really really solid hand um i think i'll keep the spike weed sector and actually play this on the ground play triceratops on heights maybe we'll play them both on the ground i don't know so if he plays teacher we'll front it no, I'll just play this dry. Uh, betting time. Do you guys think this deck will go at least 8 wins out of 10? If so, bet your precious all valuable channel points over here on twitch.tv forward slash fry em up. Voting starts now for the next 5 minutes. You think it'll go 7 and 3 or fewer wins? Then vote now. Uh, so it's definitely going to be this, this one? I guess putting this in four so the dino reactivates before it attacks is usually a good idea. It also can get block chopped before it does anything, but you know. If he plays a minion, I might go for the spike weed sector. If not, it's just gonna be tri- it's probably anyway just gonna be triceratops and <laughs> photosynthesizer in this lane. Just makes this thing crazy. It's so nice that we don't have to like worry about weed spray or anything this turn. Uh, we're absolutely dominating right now. Uh, this has got to be right. Should I protect instead of photosynthesizer? Uh, this this should be enough. He's not gonna have a grave sense. It's three damage. So. 
the Protect will get more value down the stretch. Uh, I should have put this one on Heights, though. That was a mistake. Because then we want to actually be able to set up these environments here. actually got another environment. Whoopsies. Whoopsie daisy. Oh my gosh. Uh, so it's going to be like Spike Weed in 3, Ligma, Protect. <laughs> This is kind. <laughs> this is kind of ridiculous. <laughs> Triggers the di three Dino Roars here. Let's go. See ya. Snap, even if he protects that, it's just gonna die for free. <laughs> this guy's so dumb. <laughs> so dumb. Okay. That costs two. He can Rolling Stone, who also costs two. That didn't do anything! That didn't do anything! Why would you waste that card? Oh! oh. <laughs> I'm sorry. I'm sorry. This is not. No, no, no. It's not okay. It's not okay. Do, do some arithmetic. I gotta know how to add, bro. Add and subtract. I guess you also have to know how to subtract in order to complete that equation. Just knowing how to add. Subtraction is really just backwards adding. <laughs> Bry 2021. <laughs> Don't quote me on that. I want to go to jail. The math police are going to arrest me. Oh, it's not. Completely separate thing. It blocked the lethal? Oh, because it would have died for free. Oh, you're right. <laughs> Whoops! <laughs> oh, it blocked the two damage from the forget me notes from going in the face. I feel stupid now. I feel dumb. <laughs> Wee! Brainana exists. Fry, can I milk you? No, that's just your mom. Got him. <laughs> you guys are all cringe. These forget me nots are gonna take over this game. <laughs> it's not fair. Worst case scenario is a uh, three cost three three. What the heck is that? You know what? He's not gonna be able to play any tricks next turn, so screw this guy. I'm not even wasting it. I'm going with this next turn. Baby fry boop 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 baby fry boop 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 Fry why are you stupid? I don't know. Poor genetic material, I suppose. What the heck is that? Now come on. Fry, are you my mom? Yeah. Sorry for not telling you that. I don't know you. Three cost three, three plant. Good card. What a great card. So you can activate it after, too. Okay, great. It <laughs> absorbed his deadly. His two cost deadly. He's not going to be able to remove this this snake. The snake's just going in three. I don't care. They're not doing anything stupid here. Wall not coming in clutch. Doughboy. Intergalactic doughboy. Um, the question is... Is that just a pogo? Is it just a line dancing zombie? <laughs> I know this protects the snake next turn. But... Oh, an environment. Nice. Snake actually would have been pretty good here. <laughs> Whee! This actually wins this trade. We're fine. 
I could have just spammed Snake. I was just worried about line dancing and Pogo. This is definitely a better play against against Pogo. Ah, this is fine. Ain't nothing to worry about, folks. We we got this one. I could even just double up. I don't even have to play the snake here. This probably is better. I think this forget me not make him crazy. He can't deal with it too. He has no removal. We're super ranked. Okay, now that, that's what I call. That's a play, guys. Don't care who you are, where you're from. It's a fine ass play. If I've ever seen one. Kinda sad that that goes to a 3 3 or a planter in this. I'm really into it. This is seriously one of the best combos in the game. It's very subtle. It doesn't look like a synergy. It seriously does. Like, literally. We keep on getting environments from Photosynthesizer, too. Maybe that's why we don't really need eight environments. You only run six and get the rest from your photos. The chances of getting an environment... Okay, where's Saman? <laughs> what are the chances of get getting an environment from Photosynthesizer? Is the real question. Ooh, Brainan is pretty good here. I kind of want to get greedy on on the uh, on the snacks though. I think he's just gonna do cause too much ruckus this turn. So <clears throat> I can also just do this. Hmm, that's pretty good actually. I don't really need this to go face. It also gives room for the snacks to grow next turn. It takes us out before it does anything. Pogo Mug's a good combo. This is like, this is insane right here. Crazy stuff. Don't know where you are, where you're from, what you do, as long as you love me, baby. I'm gonna put this here. Let's get this card draw going. It's the one that definitely hits face this turn. It's also the hardest lane to remove. Like, this 2-3... Like, I could stick a beam me up here, it's just really sad. He has to deal with these anyway. It also grows the, the dinosaur, okay. <laughs> Might as well concede. Might as well concede. Nice play, bro. So now we get a free snake. This is a combo too, forget-me-nut snake, guys. It just, when you have the forget-me-nuts on board, the snake just becomes a much bigger problem. Snake surviving one turn is... It's OP. It's two very problematic 4-2s for 4 cost. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Plant control definitely is a thing. Especially against the Discord decks. That was Fran Ninja wrecking everyone with like a Walnut control deck against all these, <laughs> these stuff. We even um, Comboss is somewhat of a control deck. There's different ways of playing it, but the way that you're really playing for onion rings, the repeat moss is, I mean, you can call it mid range, but it's essentially a control strat that's built into that. I don't know why we gotta, we gotta teach this guy. Come on, let's go. Not giving him. Is this Brainana really greedy to keep here? Yeah. That's a pretty damn good hand. I ain't lying. This is gonna go on Heist Player on Trap, I suppose. Who you are, where you're from, what you do. Do I play around Trapper for next turn? As long as. Well, I have to play this on ground, so I don't know. Question is where? This is here. Beard looking good. What do you guys like? The beard, long or short? This is long. Short is when it's like the YouTube videos I've been uploading the last few days. You're like a month old. What the fudge? What the fudge, sickle? 
going on here? We'll hit him with this next year. Environment. Come in to play already. Let's go. And we'll just go with whichever one. It's really so sad for him to start trying to contest this now. Is that a quote from Ninja? From I Want To Be Ninja? Uh, I think setting up a lane for the snakes next turn might be the play. We might also just pass on it. I just don't know how essential this two damage is. It also does die to the lightning bolts if we don't do this. Yeah, so it's gotta be like this. Don't want this getting lightning bolts in. No way. Right now it's actually... You know, needs to needs to get fruit kicked. Could actually just play this on four and then go five. A four four snake is gonna be a huge problem for Zima. He lightning bolts this one now, which is just like whatever. Yeah. Um I'll kill neither of them. Okay. I'm just gonna spam these now. Keep these guys alive. I'll be keeping that. La 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 la. Whee! Thanks for the free block meter church, though. I really appreciate it. It's probably just gonna be these now. Uh, if he saves three for a fruit cake, maybe I'll just rock wall, root wall this. Coach. He <laughs> That is a cool brain, Hannah. <laughs> It'll do something next time. Doink. Diddy -de doink. That was four or five, by the way. That was four. How did he play both of these? Is he got this from the cosmic? Damn, oh shit, could brain Anna right now. Play around fruitcake around bungee. I think we play around fruitcake because he really does need to remove this. He like needs to have a fruitcake. Spongy. This dies for free still though. So who cares? Plays around bungee fruitcake just fine. He is strength and we get four to face here. Why is he like bolting that? It doesn't do anything. It's still is gonna have four health now. See ya, see ya, see ya. Okay, great. Well, he didn't have the free kick.
They see me rolling. This doesn't really matter. I feel like this to lane two would have been the play because he really needs the damage. He's just running out of time. This is four. Kind of regretting not putting the snake in one, not gonna lie. Rawr! Uh, Brindana's probably just gonna see all this deal here. Or it's not gonna do anything. One of those two. The synergy, let's go. This didn't really do anything. I shouldn't have even played that. Yeah, we need that lane for Brainana next turn. Whoops! Uh, he loses no matter what, though, because he can't do 4 damage, so... <laughs> Sorry! It's guaranteed like that. Yay! He's so strong! Yay! Yeah, Brennan, that's not that good against sports decks, but... You don't really need it. <laughs> They're playing sports, you're gonna win anyway. Come on, sports decks, be better. Nice solid B... low... <laughs> nice solid B tier budget deck, we'll put it that way. I feel like we haven't really utilized the environment synergy. We actually haven't utilized it at all yet. We haven't even buffed an amphibious minion. Let's go, environments. I feel like the environments have been getting their own value, though, which is in a way more important than the little synergy, you know? Who cares? This hand looks pretty good. It's nice to have this option on, too. He must have gotten one strength from a Quasar. He played a Quasar on turn two. So he must have gotten rewrite. He played two brute strengths that game. I didn't realize. Is competitive sports possible? That's a good question. I don't know. I, I think it just has sort of this flaw. I, I don't think I'm going to play around Trevor. It sort of just has this flaw of... Um, Of, like, just spamming minions too much, you know? I don't know. They rely a little too heavily on synergy. What the hell is this? Bruh. This looks pretty good. It is time to get wrecked. It's another sports deck. Ho ho ho! Ho ho! Uh, the problem here is that ZMX Super is gonna just wreck us. We're probably just going with this now anyway. Here's a silly boy. Tomorrow. Man, I don't even know. This doesn't even hit. What is with these arm wrestlers? This guy's hat. What the heck? You can see this? Forno. He realized, hey, I'm using... I, I just played three arm wrestlers. I might as well concede. I think that was pretty legit, guys. There was no way to really play around his ultimate there, because one of my guys had three attack, the other one had one anyway, so... So, uh... Meaning, play our Citron Super there, just in case he gets his lead back. <laughs> it's not a bad play, actually. Maybe Citron and... and... Hmm. I don't know. Crypto Ghost, you're me. 
You're SH1T at having a personality. Got him. That's a pretty damn good hint. Time for 10 to know with mop package, guys. <laughs> I was thinking of playing this anyway. What a dumb, stupid, useless piece of garbage card. Because uh, you don't really need to like play around. I guess you play around his superpower if he passes with Forget Me Nuts. But yeah, it doesn't really have anything else he plays on one. Oh my gosh, just concede. Oh no, it's the counter to mop package, guys. This is bad. It's gonna happen. Mop just means you run way too many environments. Long story, it comes from Janitor. Janitois. Okay guys, here comes here comes his environments now. This is gonna be. What the f Oh hell nah. Um Me thinks this is okay. We'll use this next turn. <laughs> Do we just conjure this for photosynthesizer? We just triggered three dinosaurs there. Photosynthesizer is such a good card. Die. Biatch. Oh boy, it's a pretty good play. Pretty damn, pretty damn good. La dee da dee da. -dee. <laughs> it triggers four dino roars. We're gonna start getting some stomps by the time we're done here. He can't do anything now. His environment play is <laughs> complete garbage. What is he gonna do? What is he gonna do, folks? Rocket. Nice play. Just setting up the... Maybe we should have saved... Nah. I think I'll just spam the... Uh... Spam thing. Come on, stonks. We don't need... It's actually not even useful. <laughs> we got one, though. Let's go. No team-ups. It's got to just be... Well, this isn't really a threat. It's not really going to die. I think stonk actually is the play. Because it triggers more dino roars. It just survives more. The snake doesn't really do anything here. More stonks. Oh. Nice. Look, value. Does he have an environment in his hand, though? I mean, he hasn't played his super. There's guy, and then there's two environments. So he always has an environment in his hand. Which is almost always playable, unless that's exactly Yeti. Uh, okay. It's probably just teleportation station, that's why he hasn't used it yet. Okay, there's Freeze. Maybe if it was Freeze, he has to use it here, so maybe this is good. Huh, I didn't consider that. Roll one. Except if we needed more help here. La -de -da, la -la. Where's Brain at? <laughs> Get wrecked. La 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 la. Whoa, 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 whoa. <laughs> you know, everyone always says America is the greatest country in the world. You know that everyone thinks that their country is the greatest country in the world? That's what everyone thinks. It's not just Americans think that. It's literally what everyone thinks. Except for people from Haiti. <laughs> Sorry. Sorry. I'm sure there's no one from Haiti watching this. They don't have good enough internet there. Oh, guys, guys, listen. I mean, there are some places where people aren't proud to be from there because it sucks there. That's all I'm trying to say. What I'm saying is it's a humanitarian crisis and we should try to help out. Is what I'm really trying to say, guys. That's what I'm trying to say. Why am I playing into Trapper again? I forgot. I forgot why I'm playing into Trapper. Why don't I just play this on heights? Well, because I can't protect it with a thing. That's fine. Idiot. Yeah, you wanna see Trapper? Show you Trapper.
Is Trier from Haiti? <laughs> really? Is he? No, he's not. <laughs> you were born in Haiti? I didn't know that. <laughs> I apologize. I'm a terrible human being. I, I think we go with this. I think it's better, man. Against against turn three pass. You're lying. Come on. It's okay. It just means we can bounce something now if he like plays cowboy. We have like a really good answer to it. And then we have this on five. Play cowboy. Okay. We're going for turn five. That's not racist. It's not a race. I'm just saying that there's a lot of humanitarian problems there. That's all I'm trying to say. Wait, are you really from Haiti? <laughs> Sorry. There's no point in that, is there? Just save it for next turn, why not? Can't do a damn, a damn thing. It's not racist. There's just so much poverty there. It has nothing to do with race, guys. What the hell? Haiti's not a race. You guys don't know anything. Oh, look at, look at this energy here. Oh no, we can't do it. God damn it. Quasard. More like Charizard. Right, so play. I guess we'll just give him one of these. Should we give him one of these? Is this the play? Maybe this is the play. Nah, go face. Four plus one. And concede. Wee! He's six and zero. Oh. We need a leap. We need a leap. Nice beard fry, Daddy Energy. Yay! Thank you, Nay Lay. Oh, Daddy. <laughs> what is that? Sixteen months. Jesus. Really good against Infinity. Oh, snap! Okay, we're not playing into Trapper this time. Yeah, we mopping them up today, boys. We're 6 0 with this deck? I just don't feel like there's really enough, like, time to develop these, huh? I don't really like this play either. Maybe I should just dickweed. Maybe I should just try Caratops Dry. Make him have to deal with this crap. Yeah. Alright. I think there might be a play where we actually plant her on three and then spike weed. And that'll actually three plus two kills us. We'll see if we can get, like, another Triceratops or something to complement that. That would be nice. Rotobago. There's actually a lot of cards that would complete that that play on turn four. Uh, that ain't one of them. Maybe the Mog will come in handy, though. What the fudge? Wow. That hurts. He <laughs> I wish I could go to US to try Vietnamese pho and see what's the difference eating in Vietnam. I'm sure in Vietnam it's about a thousand times better. At least a thousand. Probably more. 
I think we just let this proc our block here. A 7 and 2 Twitch emote. <laughs> it's a good idea, I'm not gonna lie. Bounce a plant! Bounce a plant? Where are you gonna bounce, bro? That one? Because he's mugging. Oh, we're so far we're dominating here. I'd really like to block this. Oh yeah. Oh yeah. This is a really strong superpower in a deck with Triceratops and stuff. Oh no. We don't really have a great play here though, unfortunately. With the Citron. We don't really need to though. In fact, especially if he plays Mug, we're just gonna spam two cards. I'm getting ready for the mug glitch. Getting ready for it. You gotta click on that mug. As soon as it comes down. I want to be ninja? I feel some deadly coming on right now. Oh, we'll see if we get something. It's gotta be right. Oh, yay. That's pretty good. It sets up the bounce for next turn, too, and it prevents the damage. Amazing, actually. Suddenly, flame face. What? Okay. So basically everything he has dies for free here. <laughs> Whee! We are protected. So if he plays, we, we bounce, and if he passes, we Brain Anna. It's basically how this game's going. This does 5 damage in this lane, too. That's incredible, actually. I want to bury your son. Oh, I want to be your son. Whoa! Whoa! Jesus. He has a mop! It didn't do anything. <laughs> Idiot. <sighs> so he'll have three left? It's definitely not worth brinanning. Why don't we use this first and see what we get? Guess it's this one? Copy! That looks cool for next turn. Um, I think, methinks, it's like, well, this dies for free. Eh, not bad. I don't know, man. He's gonna play an environment? Where would he even play it, though? Hey. Okay. Oh, the man had one. What are we gonna do? Wee! Swing that mop round and round. Ah, it's brain out of time. You know what time it is, boys. It is most definitely brain out of time. What the heck is this? No! Wow. Is it Brainana time? One, three, Infinity Clones. Eh. Eh. You're all right. It's not Brainana time, boys. Most definitely not. So lethal's in. Come on, man. Ow. That's way too much damage. Don't do anything else, please. Maybe it was Brain Anna time. That could, Brain Anna really has a one in th has a two out of three chance of winning, but I thought I was playing it safe there, but maybe I wasn't. 
Infinity's a freaking beast, guys. I don't know if that was correct. So he's doing, we'll be down to two. But we're almost always going to bring in and now. Deadly killed one card, okay. Ah! Set dies. I'm getting a little scared here, boys. Oh, for fuck! Oh, for fuck's sake! <laughs> um, so we always mock this one. What the hell? <laughs> okay. I'll give him one of these. I'll give him one of these. No, he just wins, man. Should have played Brinana, boys. Come on, man. Oh. Two turns ago. Last turn, I mean. Yeah, I don't know why I thought that was safer, but at the end of the day, if he's able to get blown, I mean, <laughs> at the end of the day, he had Con Man, Sugary Tree, Pogo. Ugh. Yeah, we done, boys. La 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 Ah, uh, we're probably gonna win that one. <laughs> Yay. Tournament, maybe? Guys, we gotta go 7 and 2. I'm just throwing on purpose. You know how it goes. <laughs> um, yeah, sure. It's a hand. Nice period. That's what everyone's saying. Like literally everybody is saying. Better than this. Shuffles a, a stonk into our deck. We'll just go with next turn. Yeet. I guess if he commits, well. Wow, he committed. The man. The man committed. Uh, we're going with this strat now. I don't even need to forget me now. It shuffles extra stonks into our deck. We're gonna get stonks, guys. That's already three. It's five, actually. Who runs turkey? It's a pet tech. <laughs> Duh. Duh. It's probably gonna be the zookeeper camel cross now. <laughs> He's not gonna be able to camel cross, though. Oh my gosh, this guy is gonna die if he goes for that. Because we have forget me nuts. Too strong. I think we'll leave this alive still. What the hell is that? <laughs> this guy's nuts. Do we not put this on the ground? Maybe we'll just take the damage where we can get it, you know? He's just playing dry plants. I don't even know what's going on. Okay. So the seeds in your mom. <laughs> Uh, I don't really do this to entertain other people. I do it to entertain myself. That's way more important if you think about it. <laughs> what? what am I going to do about this card now? Meow. Shut up. <laughs> now what do I do? Do I take this like a champ? Do I feed him some turkey? I honestly have no idea what to do here. Are we gonna be able to deal with this later? We're we gonna do this. A little bit awkward. Awkward. We'll probably block the five damage here. Uh, we have a few more limas. Oh, I hope this doesn't kill us. Oh no! Gosh. Okay, it's a good thing we didn't go here. Oh no! Oh my gosh! <laughs> I should have just gone double forget me nuts. 
Roll three. Get a... I don't even know what's good right now. We'll do this next turn. We need some stonks really badly. Wow, we're so done. This did so much damage. Now we just lose. What is going on here? We're dying to garbage. I mean, we can get like... um. Jeez. We have to get a Lima Pluridon. The question is, what if we get like a a a, 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 a Roto Vegas? <sighs> Should I go with this instead? Probably developing tempo is better. The chances of getting a, exactly Roto Vega are very strong. Uh, come on, Ligma. <laughs> God damn it! <laughs> if I would have played double forget me nuts, this would have been playable. Leave my nut alone! Oh, there's two nut. Oh. God damn it! Uh, I don't know. We won six straight games. We just went down two. Alright, just gotta win two more. This is all part of the plan, guys. Throw them up is right. These pet decks, man. It's crazy. It's crazy. Should have not played the Forget Me Nuts at all, maybe. Right, throwing for content? I promise I'm not! I pr pinky promise. Okay, here we go. Here, here we go. No more screwing around, guys. Come on, man. If he plays a Gravestone, I'm gonna be... I'm not gonna know what to do. Okay, now I know. <sighs> Play around, beat me up, I guess. No amphibious minions, so we'll put it here. Just setting up the rotobang. This also makes the snakes a little bit better. A little more room to work with there. Oh, oh, now it's a. I didn't have anything on. He had Rolling Stone on one. Ass turn two. Could you not be dumb here? I guess this is correct. Well, getting this out of Weed Spray might be right. Um. Yeah. Just makes Weed Spray a little sad. This is a sadder weed spray than if we play this and he kills the Tricarious Thefts. Yes! It's totally fine. We didn't lose a card. We got a reincarnation. This card's OP, guys. We could play this right now. We could play this. It's a 4 4. Oh. Oh. It's safer than this play. I think I'm going for it. It also buffs the. Has he shown us a superpower? Are we playing around Chop for some weird reason? Other plays just to play snacks, but I just feel like it's too, a little too easy. I think even this is better, right? Rust Bowl, he's going to need a rocket for that next turn. All right, let's go. That's a that's a fine card right there. Buffs you. That's a one cost three one. That's a great card. One cost three one plant. Let's go. <laughs> it's a little sad, I know. Okay, there's the rocket, which just means the snakes are going to be much better. La 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 Medic! Is there any one cost card that could possibly take this out? I don't think so. So I'm not even spending. I'll use this with the Triceratops or whatever next turn. This man's about to get snacked. Snacks are real. Let's go.
You just passed? Where's Brain Nano when you need it, boys? I don't know. Okay, this dying is okay. Give him one of these. Well, that blows. <laughs> Get it? Do I add three damage to the field? To make this just relentless, relentless? Or do I set up this environment, which adds two damage to the field? I think he has to remove both of these, though, man. I think he has chop. I have no idea. He hasn't shown us the superpower, so he probably does have it. We have two expanding snakes here. That doesn't do anything. It just gives us an next. Well, the snake will contest it, at least. Unlimited snakes. A? Good thing we can go for the environment play. It's not only just three now. Congratulations. It still makes a fully fledged snack. Can we get the extra three? Oh my gosh. Rolled a lot of ones there. Whoa ho ho. Your mom is a snake. Uh, so what do we photosynthesize here? Is the real question. This one? This one? Can he even do three damage? This gets chopped here? I don't know, man. Uh, it doesn't matter? <laughs> this really doesn't matter. Survey says! Didn't get a team up. That's what, that's what it says on the survey, guys. Now what? Bitch! Slow cap? Is Swan not gonna win the game? Oh my gosh. Okay. <gasps> he killed my small nut. So angry. This apple saucer is pretty good conjure. Three damage strike through. Let's go. It's just what I needed. Oh my god, you just got that from Terraform. Okay. We. Uh, it doesn't even matter. He still doesn't have chop though. So we get more free snakes. In fact, he probably just got chop in his hand. <laughs> He's like, no. <laughs> he got. Okay. Well. It's definitely still snake time. Snake time. Shake time. Your mom is so fake time. Small nut. He was just a baby. A really big baby. He's like the big baby from Boss Baby. He had three attacks somehow. Don't ask me how that happened. Steroids. It's bad. La 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 la. Yamaka reveal. Whoop, whoop, whoop. And he threw his phone into a lake. The snakes are getting it done here. Let's go. All right, guys. <laughs> so it's seven and two. What do you know? I thought this would be the stream that wouldn't even. I thought we would win before game 10. But I mean, this is how it's going down. It all depends what we're up against now. Another Rust Ball is such a good matchup. <laughs> Just absorbs the rolling stone. Let's go. One, two, three is looking awfully good. Yep, seven and two. <laughs> Imagine holding the rolling stone here because you know Triceratops is happening. Oh, whoa! Okay. We are dinosaurs. Forget if he passes, we're going forget me nuts. You know it. <laughs> Never gonna let you know. Never gonna brown, brown, brown. Nice weed spray, bro. Next time, keep it to yourself. 
And environment into a two drop. Doing absolutely nothing. <laughs> what is the strategy? Leprechaun, guys, because you get the value, you get the pots in your deck, and then you leap it. It's synergy, active ability. Let's go. No. How about no? Bucket boy. Bucket, 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 bucket boy. He's going for weed spray. How about no? <laughs> weed spray denied, and this also saves the trade carrot tiles from an next turn. He's definitely going for weed spray, guys. Oh, bucket boy gets saved. Let's go. Damn, we're doing so much damage this turn four. Wee -wee. Only thing we need to do is play, play Brain out next turn, and we're gonna be good to go. <laughs> so sad. <laughs> Shut up. La 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 la. Weed. Weed. We're good. We er, we is good. Going viral. Nice play. He can play chop. If he has it. No. <laughs> Teleport. Uh, he needs to roll California roll right now. It's still doable. Uh, this team mascot dies, and we have Brainan in hand, so I don't know if it's really roll three. Yes, yes. It's time to time to show the Brainana haters who what's what. Come on, is there a better card that we could possibly have right now? No. So I thought, man, we dominated this Rust Bowl so bad. <laughs> Jeez. All right, guys. That'll seal the deal. Jesus. And once again, we went 8 and 2 with my package, though. We lost to some garbage, is what we lost to. We dominated these Rust Bolts, then. 88% of you voted yes for this deck? Why? <laughs> I wouldn't have voted. I didn't think we'd be able to. Alright guys, so that was the mop package plant deck. They're pretty good. I feel like there might be one with like uh, solar and uh, what's that card that grows every single time? Cosmos. Anyway, that was definitely a fun deck. And I feel like the strategy for Citron is really, really good. You go tempo with the Triceratops and the Forget-Me-Nuts, which are really what took over every single game. And then you just keep tempoing until you get to Brain Anna and you're on Photosynthesizer. I mean, that, the strategy is really, really good. So, hope you guys enjoyed. That was amazing. Peace. Let's try.